Hey guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill and I'm about to record the 15th episode of Tertius, your third favorite hero, male, level 18, Drakish Assassin. Well, you will surely have recognized that in the last episode we once again had this kind of a very spontaneous ending that my recording program sometimes likes. However, you do not miss anything, Tertius is still standing on the very square where the last recording ended. However, we are still in the big room and I thought I put the stay there probably a little longer because yesterday, the, the, the very yesterday evening, I read the report of, um, of, of, of uh, KPEC uh, who organized this challenge on the Aiden board with his uh, character who tried to do this challenge. He was a level 20 Drakeling, already stronger even than Tertius is and he died to the ice cream. So this must be a very, very tough challenge. I'm I'm afraid and uh, we should make sure to be as well prepared as possible to do that. So I think uh, we might stay at this place of uh, the big room for a while, maybe do a little more grinding uh, to get ourselves some additional herbs and probably also some nice item drops. Is that, uh, not trying for that. Especially it would be amazing if you can find some more quarrels. We have got crossbows at level 2 at the moment. I'd like to get that somehow higher. Which is just an ordinary helmet. Who throws this crude battle axe at us? An orc. Because an orc. These are a pair of bracers. There's a giant sling, not going to use those, but ordinary girls. Good. And I do not want to miss any single one of them. So let's go to. Esky mode to pick them up. Ordinary metal cap. Six arrows. Come on, dudes, do not drop arrows. Do please drop quarrels. If you don't mind. Low, uh, low chance for strength increase. I do not think that it can increase, uh, still increase strength at our level, but uh, well, why not just try it? Oh, we got disarmed. Ah, we got disarmed again. We have to do that with our crossbow. The statue, then disarm us. Swordsman. And this guy. You don't get away. Well, well. Um. Where's the weapon here? Again, we do not want. Oh! Another pair of seven league boots. Wow. We've got a backup pair of seven league boots. That's always good to have. Come on, kill these guys. Kill him too. Now we should have more herbs to harvest. So let us teleport. Ah, yeah, teleport back. Good. 
Oh, huh. Oh. Couple of enemies spawn back here. We don't need these tiny quarrels, we need real big quarrels. Oh crap. I have harvested one too much of these uh, stomophilias, but well, it's not too bad. Disarmed again? Yes, we are. Where is our sword? Can I see it? Probably here. Yes. If we had a, will a willpower increase from our last training already, hmm. Guess there's just one way to find out. Scroll of identify. Bracers, brass bracers suck. Rocks suck too. <sighs> At least down here we are not in danger of dying of starvation. We will reliably create more food than we can eat. Regrown these herbs. Oh, potential willpower. Thank you. How much willpower do we have potentially? Uh, 21. Okay, we could bless that in order to get our potential willpower a whole lot up. I think in order to increase our chance uh, of successfully doing the challenge, I will do one more whole episode grinding through this room. I think that might be a little boring to watch, but uh, you know what to expect. If that's a thing that you would not want to see, then uh, I will surely uh, understand you if you just skip this episode and uh, watch the next one, the 16th one again. Oh, werewolf. Ah, crap! Okay, but the herbs started growing. Well, just once, okay. How many more gears do we have, by the way? We have 20. 20 is enough to increase our willpower by uh, 5 points. But we need 6, 7, 8. Okay, we need, uh, I think uh, we need at least 50 more gears or something like that in order to get willpower to maximum. 
I also want to bless the portion of uh, potential willpower and drink it, so we will get it even higher. Oh, never fail. Cool. Why are there so many statues around? Where do you want to go? Come on, hit him. Good. Strength increase, but I did not really expect it. Ha! Huh. And now it should be harvest time again. We got a willpower increase, so at least now we should eat some more Morgia. Three, four, fine. Uh, that should bring our willpower up to 14. Slowly but surely we're getting nice willpower value. Then never to forget that we also found oh oh cool one more potion of potential willpower. No, we also found what I want to say another pair of seven league boots, which is always amazing to have. Otherwise, you're always so sad when your seven league boots get damaged, and we will just store the backup pair somewhere next to Dwarf Town. So we're not in danger of running out of speed. Oh, oh, I ran into this ice vortex. How could I? Now that will definitely be a very, very big advantage when we do the Tower of Eternal Flames, because due to our... Uh, ...drakeling nature, we will be a real rocket when we go down there. Oh, crap. Arrows. I want corals! Okay, here we've got a greater mimic. Yes, we have to kill this guy. And we have to kill him from distance. I won't run out. Oh crap, he's quite quick. Oh fuck. Where is he? Up there. Hmm. There he is. Fireball is probably the way to go. Step it once again. Good, and now kill him with the crossbow. Oh crap, didn't work. Good. Oh, there is a spider spawner around. <laughs> no doubt about that. Where is he? At least that means many, many enemies without having to walk a lot in between. Here is the spawner, a dark elven wizard. And there he goes. Where at? 
Okay, it's time to deal with a lot of spawners again. Let's try to get down to the wear red. At least they are absolutely not able to hurt us. Come on, wear red, get closer, please. Oh crap. Ah, being satiated and strained, exclamation mark. Where is the wear red? Where did it go? Whatever. I want to stay down here at the bottom line for fighting them. Red gun, it's okay. Fireproof, probably. We could guess if they are dropped by a fire giant. And again, we find arrows. I do not want arrows. I want quarrels. Is that so hard to understand? Oh, a cat. I hope that we will manage to not accidentally kill this cat. Apple potions of water, that's always very good. Poison, nice. And I try to poison the ice cream with the killer. Another potential willpower, that means we will definitely get our willpower potential up to uh, 25. The magic mark. 25. Myth for a girl, cool. Extra healing, nice. Another potion? No, these were some cool drops. Probably I should have left the summoners and spawners alive for a while. <laughs> somebody to kill this cat for me. Even more water, cool, cool. I like that. Uh, can I summer? Oh, it's a kind of lizard. To make another level, level 19, fine. <sighs> I wonder what to increase next. Alertness is already maxed. I think I might like some more alchemy because I'm seriously considering using some offensive alchemy in the realm of the ice cream. Ha! Huh. I've been waiting for you. Oh crap. I need to get in between you, so get a little distance. No, to the other side. Where is the cat? Where is the cat? Meow, come here, come here, kitty kitty. Where is this cat gone? Crap. You annoying little pussycat. Got a ring of ice equipped, so I'm not so afraid of a uh, fire breath attack. But it's not 100% protection. Mm. It is blessed though, so I think my chances are good to successfully take this fire drag with us for a while.
when I kill it, and then start take this lizard with me. With her long sword, short bow. Yeah. Double gang a lot. Uh, we are confused. By the way, why are we not wearing our seven league boots all of the time? Ah, that's the reason why we were so slow. Stupid me. Holy. I was really, really surprised that the enemies were so quick in comparison to us, but uh, okay, it was easy reason. We were just not wearing our seven league boots. We got a willpower increase by the way, so let's do that again. One, two, three, four. Scrolls of uncursing, two ordinary scrolls of uncursing. Okay, I might use them at one point and uncurse our mosses of Moralen because that would allow us to train our dexterity also up to maximum, which would be somehow cool. But I'll do that as soon as we are done with this grinding episode. In this episode, we will do nothing else but continue to grind, grind, and grind. Everything else would be unfair because I already told you that's what I would do. And uh, I do not want anybody to miss something important because he doesn't watch this episode. But as you can see, we are already quite a pause. Doing a nice job here. Not kill them. And potential mana. Oh, acid vortex. Can we kill them from a distance? Yes, we can. Fine. Good job. Oh, lightning lizard. But we're immune to lightning, so. Go down and kill him. Still make sure not to lose coral. We're already quite low on corals. Yeah, that was the last one. A heavy crossbow. We do not need a heavy crossbow. We could also sell, I think uh, we still have another crossbow with us that we could definitely sell. Oh, a mimic. Kill it. Good. Still an item. Come on, come on. Ah, get him out here. Yes, good. A pixie archer cost. Let's eat that. Ah, too bad. This is boring, it will greatly increase our chances to survive after Kapex character died on level 20. I got a little uh, <laughs> paranoid, it was the Ice Queen. Yeah. 
Also, during the hook challenge, there was so far only one character who successfully managed to do his uh, to, uh, to, to to end his adventures. The character was also uh, played by Kapek. It was uh, his uh, equivalent to my Primus, so the first challenge, and uh, he even did an ultra ending. Amazing. 